one that's a sin of Krantha Hertz. And I am so, so sad because, well, I have had a ton of computer issues. So I had my computer and the sound is dead on it. <laughs> it works, but it's dead. So I bought a new computer and I made a bunch of videos and I was all cut up. And then the computer would not turn on. Brand new. Brand new, not a refurbished, brand new, bought it from Dell. And so I did have to exchange it, which was easy. They sent me a brand new one. I sent the old one back. But the problem being is that all those videos I had are lost. And you gotta excuse my nails. I just got like hair dye in my nails. Um, but anyway, so I'm gonna have to just do a project share of the things that I made. These are in no particular order. <laughs> this is from the, the um, what is it? The um, Pink Fresh Studio Virtual Retreat, Card Making Retreat. I totally lost my train of thought. And what they've been doing for the last, like the last retreat, they partnered up with Stamp Market. This time they partnered up with Pretty Pink Posh. And then the one they're going to be doing in the fall, they're partnering up with Spellbinders. So I'm pretty excited. If you've watched any of my haul videos or any of my other videos where I've talked about, you know, the different events, because I do go to a lot of virtual events, I do give you my input and my feelings about the event. Now, the Pink Fresh Studio, that's one of my favorite events. I really like it. For one thing, I think it's a great value. Um, it just depends, right? So a great value can mean a lot of different things. So for me, for this particular one, why I think it's a great value is that you get a ton of product for your money. You get five different suites per se. So a suite would be like um, a stamp, a stencil, a die. In some cases, a washi. You also get... Um, like in this one, we got a cover plate as well as um, kind of a general die that you can use for a lots of different things. Um, you usually get some kind of a gift and um, some gems. So everything in it's very usable. Um, and like always, it really depends on whether you like the product or not. So I've stopped doing Crop and Create. I think it's very expensive and most of these events are, are kind of expensive. So I'm looking for value. And in this case, I think there's a good value with the, with the um, Pink Studio um, events. Now, do I think there's good value with Crop and Create? Not really for me, only because it's a lot of work to prepare for that event. You have to do a lot of homework. And I just don't love all the products. And I get it. They're trying to appeal to a lot of different people. And the prob problem with that then is, you know, most of the event is stuff I don't like or I bought into or I'm not going to keep or even my favorite companies aren't really always giving me a great product in the kit. So, and, and I think the extras are just whatever. So that's my take on Crop or Create. I, I liked it more the very first time I did it. The last time I did it, I did not like it as much. And so, um, and then the time after that, I didn't do it. And I found out that I actually was made a good call and <laughs> not doing it. So it, it's just, everybody's going to have their own opinion of what they like and what they see as value. Um, I'm going to be sharing some projects, combining product from other companies with some of my um, Pink Fresh Studio stuff things that I've gotten in kits so that you can see how you can, you can kind of combine those items. And in this case, you know, these are not in any particular order. They probably should be <laughs> because I'm redoing these and these are just in the pile of things to be filed. So it's just, it's pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so let's see. Uh, everything's kind of just out of order. We'll see what, what, what I can do here. Um, so the product that we got from, um, from, what is it? Pretty Pink Posh was this Hummingbird set, which was a very cute set. 
it came with a stamp set, a die, and a stencil, I think. Um, so, and then this is the cover plate we got, and I cut it out using sort of the basic die set we got. And I really like the projects we did with it, so I think that really helps my liking of this particular product line. Um, some of these are cards we made in the class, and some of them are ones that I did the make and takes for. And I didn't do the make and takes for every project, just for a few of them. Um, but this one I did, I really liked how this one came out. Um, so you can see here the different kind of looks that you can get. And then this one is a card that I made with some of the leftover product that I had from um, cutting out other things for the different classes. And this one combined some leftover um, washi product line that we had. And so I, then I just made that card with it. Now, speaking of the washi, so this line, this butterfly line, we got the stamp set, the die, the washi, and a stencil. So it's a really, really great value. I want to say that there's another card, which I don't, some other one of, I don't see it. But this is another card with the hummingbird line. I kind of like that one too. Oh, and we got a pretty cool stencil. Maybe, I maybe only did two. So we did a kind of like an easel card. An easel card that I'm like right there. And that's using that washi and then the leftover pieces I used for that other card. And so I really loved how that card came about. And then this is one in which it was confusing how this card was being made. I think if I had a better idea of where we were going, I would have done a better job at making this card. But basically, it was like doing a frame. But the way that the directions were and the way that it was in there, it was just it was a little more complicated than it had to be, I think. But that's okay because a lot of times, you know, you'll make, you know, you're making projects to kind of learn different techniques as well. So this one, we white emboss the stamp set, and then we used the stencil to stencil in color, um, and then we used the die set to cut it out. So that was fun. That was We got a lot with that. And then another product line that we got um, that I really liked, I, I did some of the make and takes for it, is this lantern, which I don't know, maybe the butterflies are out yet as well, but I know this one for sure came out immediately after our virtual retreat. So this this um, product suite is available right now, I know for sure, in their shop. And so we got the stamp, the die, and the stencil. So I think this is one of the, I want to say this one of the make and takes, but I'm not sure. Um, but I really like this, and this is another one that I am going to show. I am going to show how I used this um, combining with another whole company's product line. Um, and, you know, that's kind of what I want to do is do more of combining things. Since I'm not on a design team right now, I can just kind of combine companies if I want to get better use out of what I have. Um, but this is a lantern one. So you get the, the stamp. We got the stamp, the die, um, and the stencil. And lots of different ways. This is one of the sort of basic dies that we got. And it's one of the better ones. I Well, I actually, I like all the ones we've gotten, but this one was really, really good. Um, so that's that one. And this one, we used the stencil that we got from um, Pretty Pink Posh. And I love the colors for that one. And then this one, they have in their product line, which they released, I think, and it was this year, last year, is their glitter paper. And I, this apparently, this navy was not part of their line. They made it specifically for this class, but I'm hoping that it does get released into the regular line because I love this navy paper. And I, I, we got a sample of it as part of our class kit, and it is just really, really beautiful. And it cuts really nicely because I used it for some other things. Um, I love that. Okay, and then I think this one also was released. Uh, recently and so this is like i don't know strawberries i guess like a fruit theme 
And of course we got the stamp, the die and the stencil. Um, we also got, I forgot to mention, the stamp and die sentiment set as well as part of our kits. I'm telling you, they're get, it's a good value. I highly recommend this if you like their product. You know, I mean, you should always just do um, classes for, for things you like. But I, I think this one's a nice one too. And you can see some of the different looks that we did, you know, with the classes. So, and this one might be one of my favorite ones that we did with this class because we gold embossed this one. And then this was a twofer. And, you know, I can't, I feel like I'm missing one of the things we did, but <laughs> it's hard to say. I was all buried everywhere but anyway I really enjoyed everything and the homework that you do is not too much you could do less if you want I did a lot because I don't like to fumble around for my stamp set and my this and my that and I'm a pretty experienced crafter so anything that has to be embossed I emboss ahead of time and all that that's just me in my prep um, but you could do a lot less prep if you want so that's that's what kind of makes it nice for this too you don't need too much prep anyway Thank you so much for watching. This is Santa Crane with the Heart.